What's up, YouTube? Danger Dave. I got a story called The Purple House. Little Johnny was at school one day, and the teacher comes up and says, um, Surprise quiz, guys. All the class goes, Oh, no. And the teacher says, On a book that you guys get to pick out today, and there will be no more school for the rest of the day. So all the kids cheer, and they run, flood out to the library. The school is about 300 years old. So it's this old castle, like Harborgs. So all the kids get in, start piling into the library, and they're looking at the, all this, these two big piles. You had Twilight and Harry Potter were the two books that were the hottest books out at the time and all the kids are picking up those two books and uh, little Johnny wanted to be uh, unique so he started walking down the library and uh, this library is huge like I said it's an old castle so it's three stories tall and the school was so old um, they only had enough school funds to uh, renovate half the library and half the school with electricity so as he's walking he keeps going about a, about a half a mile and he runs down to the last pylon of electricity and the light stops and it starts to get dark and now you see candles on the side of the walls and place the lights and he keeps on going and there's this broken spot in the ceiling and there's light beaming down to this purple book under a broken, toppled over bookshelf. So little Johnny starts going over to the bookshelf and he climbs underneath it and he sees the beam of light is on this purple book. So he, it's illuminated. So he grabs it and pulls it out. And it's covered in cobwebs and he goes, uh, purple house. Huh, what is it? And he opens the book. And all the pages are burnt and scratched up. Whoever found this book originally did not want anybody to read it. So Johnny grabs the book and starts making his way back down towards the where the rest of the class and where the librarian's table was at. So he gets all the way over there and he gets up to the library. And then he goes, uh, Miss Susan. And she's like, yes, Johnny, what, what you need? And she's like, uh, I found this book. I... I all the pages are scratched and ripped out of it. Uh, she said, what's the book called? He said, Purple House. She said, you're expelled. Go to the principal's office. So he runs to the principal's office. And he's sitting down and he's kind of scared because he's never been in trouble. And the principal comes in. He goes, Johnny, what are you doing in my class? You've, you're a straight A student. You've never been in any trouble. You've never been sick or anything what's what's up and he said uh i just wanted to know what this book was called and he said what's the book he said purple house he said get out of the class officer such and such take him to his house drop him off ne you're never coming back to this school you're expelled forever so takes him home and he gets home and he's waiting nervously for his parents to show up and his parents get there and they're like what happened and uh, they tell, he tells them, I just wanted to know what this book was called. Well, what's the book? The Purple House. Get out of our house. You're not our son anymore. You're expelled from our house. And uh, well, Johnny's walking down the street. At this point, it's he's been walking for a couple hours. And he runs into a hobo crawling out of a dumpster. And he says... Uh, well, boy, what are you doing out here? Isn't it past your bedtime? And aren't you a little uh, young to be walking around this late at night with people like me? And he says, uh, I, I don't have a family. I don't have parents anymore. I got expelled from school forever, and my parents disowned me. And he says, uh, well, what, what did you do to have all that happen? And he's like, uh, all I wanted was to know what this, what this book was about. He said, what's the book? And he said, Purple House. Whoa, whoa, little man. Don't be talking about that out loud. You don't want people to hear you. And he's like, well, do you really, really want to know what it's about? He said, he said, all right, I'll tell you what. Take bus 10 all the way down. 
and then get on bus 11. Take bus 11 all the way down. It's going to end at an old gas station. It's an old 7-Eleven. Go behind the gas station, put your back to the wall, and walk all the way, and walk straight, and walk all the way through. It's going to lead you through these woods, and then you're going to see a giant fence is going to come up. Can't miss it. And there'll be a hole. If you lined it up right, there'll be a giant hole in the fence you can go through. And you'll find what you're looking for. So Johnny gets on the bus 10, rides it all the way down, gets on bus 11. By this point, it's like 2 o'clock in the morning. Well, Johnny passes out on the bus. Bus driver wakes him up. Well, boy, you you good? It's the last, it's the last stop. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's where I'm supposed to be. So he gets off the bus, and he starts, he sees the uh, convenience store that the hobo told him about. He gets behind it, puts his back to the wall, and he starts walking. Sure enough, he finds a pathway through the woods, and it comes out, and then he sees this giant fence, like in Jurassic Park. It's got, like, razor wire and this big danger high-voltage sign, and uh, looks like dinosaur escaped out of it or something there's a big rip in the side of it like the hobo said and he's able to walk through it and the second his head goes through the one through it the whole skyline turns purple the trees the grass everything is purple so he's, he's walking through and um kind of starts coming through the brush and he sees uh like a road the road's purple with a car going down is purple there's little purple people walking around with little purple baby carriages with little purple babies and purple houses and everything is purple purple birds and as he's crossing the road to get a closer look he gets hit by a car and he dies and the moral of the story is always look before you cross the road thank you Scri subscribe if you like the story let me know in the comments thank you